Hi guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be doing another video response to a viewer's question. Remember, if I answer your question in a video, I will send you a free copy of my Ultimate Do-It-Yourself e-bike guide, uh, which you can check out at ultimateebikeebook.com. Now today's question comes from Fokker1984, who asks, can he simply sand the ends of his 18650 cells and then solder on nickel strip? Now, this is a great question. It's a very controversial question. There are people that feel very strongly on either side of the issue. I will give you my professional opinion and what I've gathered from you know, all the research that I've, I've read and everything I've learned about lithium cells. And that is that you should not solder on your cells. It's just not good for them. Um, and I'll elaborate on that, but first let me give you sort of a practical uh, technical answer to your question, which is, yes, can you do it? Yes, you can. Um, you know, you do need to sand the ends of the cells, like you mentioned, um, roughen up the surface so that your solder will actually adhere to it, but you can solder to them. Um, nickel strip, especially if you're using pure nickel strip, it solders really well, you know, the solder really adheres to it. You should use uh, leaded solder if you can, it just works better. Don't breathe it, but, uh, you know, it does work better. Um, and if you can, you should try not to use a very small tip. You know, I like using uh, small soldering tips for you know very fine, careful soldering. But if you're going to be soldering on the end of a lithium cell, you want to try to use as big a tip if you can. You know, so these small ones aren't going to be so useful, but a big fat tip is going to hold a lot of heat in it, and that way you can transfer that heat quickly to the cell without heating it up too much. A smaller tip, it's kind of counterintuitive, but it's not going to hold as much heat, so you're going to have to uh, keep the tip on there longer which is gonna heat up the cell even more as you, as you hold on there for a long time. So you want a big fat hot tip that you can just put there quickly, get the solder on and remove it before the heat transfers into the cell as much as possible. Now that being said, there's no way to solder directly on a lithium cell without heating up the cell. Um, it's a little bit less of an issue on the positive end of the cell, on the cathode, because uh, on the positive end, you've got more structure there to the cell. You've got the cell cap, you've got um, the venting space, you've got a uh, disconnect there. Um, there's just there's more mass there before you get to the actual um, electrolyte and uh, electrode layers inside of the cell. On the bottom of the cell though, you've just got this very thin uh, wall of the can and then right underneath there are all the layers of electrolyte and the electrodes. And uh, that's the point where you're going to be immediately heating up the, um, the material in there. And the issue is that when you heat it up, you cause an irreversible chemical reaction that's going to rob your batteries of uh, charge cycles, uh, as well as capacity. Um, unfortunately, what it does is it causes this reaction where your battery is not going to be able to hold as much charge anymore. You're not going to get that same capacity, and it's just going to die a quicker death. Now, I've read a lot about this, and the problem is that you know we know theoretically what's happening, but there's not a whole lot of research on exactly how it affects the battery. So you know. Uh, I haven't seen any studies that say when you, when you heat it up to a, you know, this temperature with a soldering iron for 10 seconds, you're going to lose you know, 10% of the capacity of your battery, or 5%, or however much it is. You know, I haven't seen a lot of hard research like that. If anything, it's something that I plan to do. Um, I want to take a, a bunch of cells, uh, spot weld some of them, solder others, and then do discharge cycle testing to compare uh, exactly how much the soldered cells have been degraded. Um, I think it's something that's lacking from the community right now because you know, we always hear that you shouldn't solder these cells because you're going to heat overheat them, but it's hard to say exactly how much damage you're causing. But um, you know, the scientific community is, is fairly in consensus that uh, when you heat up these lithium cells, you're causing uh, irreparable damage to the cell itself. And so, can you solder them? Yes. Um, if you're going to do it, you should try to do it as quickly as possible. Um, use a good hot tip and you know, not more than like a second or two if possible. Because any amount of heat that you put into those cells from a soldering iron is just going to cause damage to the cell. You know, there's no way around it. And that's why you should really try to use a spot welder if you can. You know, they're, not, uh, they're not super cheap, though they have come down in price. You know, when I bought my spot welders, they used to be like 200 bucks. Um, some of the nicer ones are still, I mean, the, the nicer ones, the nicer cheap ones are still about 200 but you can get decent ones for, you know, in the, the low hundreds. Sometimes I see them come up on sale for like 80 bucks on AliExpress. Um, I'll put some links in the description below to some good, cheap um, uh, spot welding stations. And um, for future reference, 
you really should not solder your cells. It works, but I don't recommend it. So thank you very much, Fokker1984, for the question. Um, shoot me a private message on YouTube, give me your address, and I will mail you a copy of my book, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide. If you guys have questions, please ask them in the comments. Uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can, and if I choose your question to make a video response, then I'll send you a copy of the book too. If you like this video, um, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, let me know that I did a good job with it, and if you want to see more of these videos, um, as well as my how-to videos and reviews, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates every time I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day.